Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1790. Check if one string swap can make strings equal. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. We're given a function that takes in two strings, S1 and S2. And we want to return true or false if we can make a string swap. And if define this swap as if you can swap at most one string swap on exactly one of the strings otherwise return false. So for example, we have this two strings here. If we know that we can swap B and K, just one swap, it, they are equal, so we return true. And here we, re, we return false because it's impossible to make them equal. And here is also another edge case where they're both already equal, so no swaps. So it says at most one string swap, so it's zero swaps, so it's still true. So in order to solve this problem, there's two things we need to check. The first thing is that they have to have the same letters and the letters have to appear the same amount of times so they can be matched because this is impossible because they don't have the same uh, letters. And the second thing we ought to do is create a count for how many swaps there are. So we know that if there's only two persistence different, that's one swap. And if it, if it makes more than that, we know we return false. So the first thing we wanna do is that we wanna create a char array. And this is a, variable. And this is a general strategy where we, keep, we create an array of 26 indexes. And every time we see a letter, it increments to that corresponding index value. And then we also want to create a swap variable, and that's going to keep track of how many swaps we're doing. Next, we want to fill this char array up. So we create, we loop through S1. And then we add the value to the corresponding char array. And I'll show this in code. This, this idea took me a while to grasp, but I'll show you in code to make more sense. And then, so we got the char array filled up. So now we have to loop through S2. And inside of this, we want to see if it's inside of it. If it's not, if it's not inside of, if this letter in S2 is not inside of it, we return false, knowing that it's possible. Condition if current the value inside char array, and then is not we return false. And then if it is, else current value isn't it, we decrement the value in char array because the amount of times of it occurs matters as well. And then also we can combine this to the other part is that we check the swap. So if condition, if current s current index value, I'll just put in kind of code s one i is equal to s two does not equal to it. This means we need a, a swap. And then we have a last condition, condition if swap is greater than two, we return false. And now lastly, if we make it through this, we return true. So the, all these are conditions to make it return. The second condition will 
check if it will make it return false, and if it doesn't, we return true. And I also, I had three different loops at first, but I learned that we can just combine this one with this one. So it, we can only loop it twice. So to create it, to do it in code, let char array equals new array that is 26 index long, and we fill it starting with zero, and we create the swap variable, that swap, and it starts off at zero. And now we loop through S1 for let i equals zero, i is less than S1 dot length, i plus plus, and inside of it, we fill out this char array. So let temp, and this is what we're gonna add to the char array. We have to change it to char code. So the idea is that we get S1, So this gets the letter and we change it to the char, char code at, and then we have to minus, because the char code has a lot of more than just the letters. And it's also only lowercase too. So that shortens it a lot. We got to subtract it from the A and just kind of that general idea. And let's copy this. And then we want to fill this out up on the, in the array, so char, array where we get that temp, we just plus plus. And I'll console log this so you have an idea so you can see it and make sure I did it right. Char array. You see, so bank, every the B, we increment one here for the second, this represents B, this represents A and K and so forth. And now we wanna loop through it again. They're the same length, so it doesn't matter, but we can just do S2 for easier read. I equals zero. I is less than S2 dot length. I plus plus. And we do the same thing, let temp, but we do S2. If this is equal to zero, it means that it's not in it. So we can't do this problem. So return false. Else, so it is in it. We want to decrement it as well to keep track of the count inside it to make sure the count matches. And then we create the other condition, the swap condition, if S1 index i is equal to S2 index i doesn't equal to it. We increment swap. And then lastly, if swap is greater than two, we return false. And it makes it through all this, so we just return true. And that's it. Great. Great. So do the time complexity for this is time. We're doing a loop through here. Two loops, but they're the same ones. They're not nested. So it's O of N. And then the space complexity. So this, this is sufficient because it's constant. It's a constant 26 uh, variable. This is constant. So it's gonna be over one. So that is how we solve this problem. Thank you.